So far you have dragged items from the gallery to the stage, which has resulted in reference nodes in the network. You are now going to use the Stage Manager node directly to work with several assets at the same time. This node gives you access to the gallery and lets you place, duplicate, and set variants on your assets. So let's um, add a Stage Manager node down here. We're going to feed this into here and set up our display flag. Let's click this so we can see more of the scene, give us more room to sort of work as we lay this out. And you see that we already have the existing things that are feeding in. We can see them here and they can be uh, part of our decision making here. So let's drag this barrel lid. We're going to place it right onto the geo. And that goes into the scene. We get a handle that we can use to move that and we're going to position it off to the side here. Now if we go control D we will get a second copy of it and up here if we go uh, shift F1 you can see some of the hotkeys we can use uh, for here. But for now we'll just uh, Take that second one and we'll move that there, maybe a little bit forward, and control D, and we'll take the third one to the other side and move that right beside the table. So we've got three barrels all set up like this. Now let's press S. So if we want to select one of the earlier ones and tweak them, uh, we can do that. And all of the edits and transforms are stored uh, in here inside that stage manager node. Now if we want to, we can also uh, right click on this asset here and you see how it says geo barrel lid, geo, and it's got our different variants. So we can say no lid and get the other barrel here to have one with no lid. So we have access to the, we could have dragged a no lid one over from here, uh, but once you've got them in here, you can access the, the variants to make the change there. So let's uh, take this broom. We're gonna put that onto Geo and it puts it right there in the scene. Uh, and then we're going to go and put that into here and then we're gonna tilt it just back a little bit so it looks like it's sitting on there. Um, control D so we get a second one. We can put it over here. Control D and then push that a little bit back and then rotate it so it's oh, I think we are not we're not anywhere close to there so we can do that do that kind of positioning to set up let's say a few of the brooms there and with any of these if we want to we can press S and again, we've got the variant, so we could pick one of the other sticks um, if we wanted to have a slightly different broom. Uh, maybe this one. We're using three there, so we can use one and two there, and then you get slightly different brooms. So now let's go back and let's get the cooking pot. Now we're going to get, instead of dragging it over to here, so we're going to take the pot we bring it in and it's getting ready to be positioned we can now press control J which allow us to find surfaces so we can you know easily go in and say okay we want to place this on top of that barrel and that did not do that but if we click on here we can move it back up and it will snap right there onto the barrel now that's actually not the cooking pot. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we'll move this one over onto the table here. 
and we're going to right click and material let's put the clay one instead uh, let's find the cooking pot which I think is a little higher on the list here cooking pot there we go so this is the one we want to bring in and we want to sit it right on top of there and it, there we go that worked that worked what we needed and if we want to tweak it a little bit it's a little once you've got it there you can turn can turn control J off and then you'll be able to position this a little bit more freely now in here we have the cooking pot there and we can drag that onto geo after the fact to get that similarly the pot ended up at the bottom here um, you know what we can push this down and drag the pot up to geo and then it goes in there as well so even if you move something into into the scene view first uh, you can reorganize it um, it's scene graph path right here in this in this window here okay so now let's uh, get the basket with carpets let's drag this into the scene here and let's just move this over to here maybe push it back a little bit maybe rotate a little bit and then we can go and let's uh, let's add a small basket so let's get a small basket with the top. We're going to bring that in, go control J, and we'll move that onto there. And it came. Press control J to turn that off, and then we can just sort of move that like this. And again, these two did not go into geo, so we just drag those down and they will go into the geo. We're all set there. Okay, so now we've set up a nice little scene. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of different assets uh, in here. We have the ability to swap out variants if we want to, and uh, we can use the snapping to put them down onto the scene. Now the next one we're gonna bring in is a book. So we're gonna bring in, we wanted to add that book. Let's put it under Geo. Uh, then we'll be able to move that. So press S to select it and control J and let's put this book up on the table and rotate it around a little bit. So now let's get in there and we're going to look at this book. Turn off control J. We're going to go control D. We're going to move this up over and like this. Control D up over rotate and curl, control D again and we're going to move this up and let's do that a little more drastically now once we have that we can right click on these and say well give me book five give me book three and maybe give me book two so there we go so we've got three books or four books rather, and they're all sort of sitting like this. Now what we want to do is we want, oh, let's press S, and we're going to move this one just up so it's not intersecting. So what we'd like to do is drop these down, but we want it to feel a little bit more realistic. So what we can do is let's press the shift key and we're going to select, so we're going to press S, shift, and we're going to select the table and the four books. So we got the four books on the table. We're going to say add physics. Then we're going to press S, click on the four books, and we're going to say use physics. And now we're going to drop these to the ground and you see how they they sort of react to bumping into each other to the point where we get the books sort of like this. So that would be something that's you know you could certainly rotate around like we did with the broomstick to get them all oriented but being able to do it here with sort of some physics uh, is quite nice now that one's maybe just push it a little bit more there we go then that one tilts down too 
Okay, and there we go. So that sets up the books. And that's using the physics capabilities uh, that we can use to, to lay out some of the elements in here. We can turn that off just to go back to normal layout on that. Okay, so let's step back a second and look at the scene that we've set up so far. And we've got the beginning of an interesting scene. What we're going to do next is actually build a backdrop for this and make the ground surface a little more interesting to sort of finish up the scene. Uh, but I hope what you've learned here is what the stage manager can do to help you bring assets in from the gallery uh, and lay them out within the scene graph properly at the same time you have different layout options like control J and the use physics and so on to position your assets uh, in layout and we and scene assembly